Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. As always, we're joined by top barbecue chef, Mr. Richard Holden. Hi folks. And in this video we're going to be making salmon burgers. Mm-hmm, hot smoked salmon burgers. And we're going to be using a Kadai Fireball. So Richard, talk us through all the prep we need to do for these burgers. Well, first of all, we've got some salmon pieces here that have already been partially cooked. They've been um, hot smoked uh, with probably around about 110 or so degrees C of heat. So they've been cooked lower um, and they've been just smoked and we're going to flake those into the bowl. To that, we're going to add a beaten egg, some breadcrumbs, uh, the juice, m most of the juice of one lemon. We're going to save some back for a little bit of a lemon mayo later on. Uh, then we're going to add some flavorings in the form of lemon zest, fresh garlic, some cayenne pepper, uh, a good amount of fresh dill, but not too much because it can overpower. Um, so use your palate in that respect. Uh, and some Dijon mustard. And then we're also going to add some Worcester sauce, some salt and some pepper. That will all get mixed in the bowl, divided by four, shaped into burgers, and then we'll grill those off. And then to serve, we've got some fresh ciabatta, ciabatta buns. And then we've got some shredded romaine lettuce, some sliced cucumber, and some sliced tomatoes. And as I say, we'll mix the remaining lemon juice into the mayo and just make a bit of a fresh, zingy mayonnaise. If you wanted to do, you could take a little bit of the dill and add that into the mayo as well, but we'll keep it all in the, uh, in the, in the burger mixture. So first thing we need to do is take our salmon. I'm just going to take this off the skin and just flake it in. You don't need to worry about making this too small at this point because it will break up a little bit as we are mixing everything together. So just take those off. If you, if you smoke it on the skin, it's just a, bit, a little bit easier to uh, take off the barbecue. Uh, you can put it on one of the grill baskets, just smoke it off. Oh, that one's already off the skin, there we go. That one, the skin must have come off as it was on the barbecue. So, egg goes in, breadcrumbs in, they all go in. And then we've got our lemon juice. Could you do me a favor as I've got fish yep. juice on my hands? Could you salt, pepper, and Worcester sauce the mixture? And then what I'll do, is I'll just grab a little spoon from now here. That's good. We'll just add in the lemon zest, the garlic, the cayenne, the dill, and the Dijon mustard. Scrunch, scrunch that up as it goes in, just to help the salt flakes break down. Is that enough salt? That should be, yeah. When you're adding salt and pepper in the way that you are, uh, let's go for about three or four teaspoons. When you're adding salt and pepper in the way that we are with this, just try and think about how much you'd add. We're going to make four burgers, so how much salt you would add to a burger and how much pepper you would add to a burger. Generally, you know, a really simple thing is, is it one twist per burger or two twists of pepper per burger? Um, and just kind of use that as your guide. Uh, and then, or what you can also do is, if you're making a lot of these, once, if you were in a kitchen, what you would do is you would actually take a little bit of the mixture, make it into a little meatball, pop it on the grill, cook it off, taste it. If it's not seasoned enough, then you can just add a little bit of extra seasoning to the residual, to the remaining mixture that you've got. So not being too heavy handed with this, just keeping my hand nice and loose and just tumbling this around in the bowl. What we can do now is just take this out onto our board. Again, you don't want to overwork this. So we're just going to divide that into two. Just mine them out of the way. Divide that into two. And then we'll divide those into two as well. Just make them, eyeball them for evenness. If we're on Bake Off, we'd probably have the scales out right now, just making sure that they're to the <laughs> gram. And then, do you know what? Looking at the size of our buns, I'm going to make an executive decision on shot, and we're going to make three. There we go. I'll eat the one with we'll just Yeah, we'll just feed that to ducks. Oh, you don't do that anymore, <laughs> do you? No. So we're going to make three, three little salmon burgers. They smell fantastic with that dill. Just form those using your hands. Try and make them nice and even thickness. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Right, so we've got our three salmon burgers. We've got the can I set up with this half moon shape um, griddle plate on the top, and I've actually got some charcoal underneath that. So what we've got is a nicely preheated direct heat 
on the griddle and we're going to take those over. So could you grab me the oil? Um, as I've got salmon mixture on my hands, could you just drizzle enough? You might just need to put your thumb over the end so not too much comes out. Or your finger, whichever. Just enough of a surface area to cook three burgers. There we go. And then we'll bring these over. Nice bit of sizzle. Nice sizzle. Again, it's about keeping the control of the, of the heat. And we've already cooked the salmon effectively once. So we're just going to get some nice color on the outside. We're going to get them nice and thoroughly cooked in the middle through to about 62 for salmon. Um, but we're going to just let those sizzle away. They've got a beautiful little sizzle going on there. And we'll come back in a minute and we'll just turn them over and cook them on the second side. So they've had a couple of minutes. Let's have a little check. Beautiful little bit of color on the first side. So we'll just, oops, what's going on here? Look at those. I know that's your favorite thing, but these are <laughs> going to taste amazing. We're going to give them the same time on the second side. We'll probe them and we'll take them off when they get to temperature. So we'll have a little check using the temp probe. So we're looking for 62 with fish. And these are 63, first one was 64, wow, 63, yeah. we're good to go. So can I get you to do me a favour, could you just yep. um, combine that mayo and the lemon in there, just using the teaspoon, and I'm just going to bring these up off the griddle, just so that they can have two moments while we build our burgers. So I said we're only going to do three of these. So we're only need three. Could you put me a little bit of mayo on the on the base of each <coughs> burger bun? A bit, yeah. There we go. And then we'll go on. Just divide that by three, actually. All right. It's just a little bit with the tomato. There's quite a few holes in the bread, so just you lose some. You, yeah, you do. You lose some. If we bring this up here now, we can get our lettuce on. See, it was always destined to just do three burgers. It's just the way it goes, isn't it? So then we'll do our tomato. Things look better in food when it's in odd numbers anyway. It's just the way it always is. It's like planting, isn't it? We don't know anything about planting, though, do we? We just focus yep. on barbecues. So, a little salmon burger on top. And we'll just go with a little bit more of our cucumber. I have a feeling this is going to be like the breakfast burger where... <coughs> or the venison one from yesterday. Or the venison one that's also on the YouTube channel where it's just really flipping difficult to get them in your mouth. Anyway, there we go. That is our hot smoked salmon and dill burger with a little bit of a lemon mayo served on ciabatta, cooked on the caddi fire bowl. What's more? What more do you want? So if you want to find out about the recipe about this dish, visit the website, hazegardenworld.co.uk. It'll be in the blog section of the website. If you want to find out about the caddi, all the different fire bowls, all the different equipment, accessories, Come and see the team at the barbecue shop here. They're all on display all year round. We must stress that. Yep, all, all year, year round. round. Uh, not just for summer like some garden centres. Apart from Christmas Day and Easter. Easter Sunday. That's it. Easter so, Sunday. Uh, all that's left for us to say is thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time. See you next we're time. We're going to tuck into some salmon burgers. We are, yes. See you later.